I'd like to talk about two new features in Profile Unity and FlexApp. They include role-based access and auditing. These were introduced with Profile Unity version 6.7. Role-based access is part of the Profile Unity Central Management Console. Administrators of Profile Unity have the rights to go in and add users and to select specific roles for those users. So there's two different levels, administrator and user. If you're an administrator, you have power over several things. If you're a user, you have power over limited things. Permissions include any feature set. So if you think about the management console and every icon, there's basically a checkbox for every one of those icons in the Profile Unity Central Management Console and then some. This is especially ideal for large environments with multiple administrators. Our integrators are some of Profile Unity Liquidware's partners that implement Profile Unity for multiple clients but have one management console. It's also ideal for multi-tenant environments so you can select who's an administrator over which configuration and over which feature set. We'll show a demonstration in just a moment. We've also introduced auditing into the central management console for Profile Unity. The auditing is great for change control, so if you need a change control procedure, like uh, many companies mandate, you have that built into Profile Unity now. You can deliver reports at any time and, and, and download those. You can also use this feature for compliance. So many of the compliance regulations out in, in many industries today mandate that you're able to look and see what automated configurations you have in place to give people access to data and also permissions to open up files or applications. And so for that reason, you have your auditing backup in Profile Unity as proof and evidence of when changes occurred in that environment. This is also ideal for multi-administrator environments so you can see what each individual administrator has done. And it's great for staff continuity, especially if you have turnover or so you're likely to have turnover in an environment. Maybe see people have been promoted within an organization or if people leave, you need to know what has happened and occurred in that configuration environment line by line or in who did it. It's also ideal for multi-tenant environments because you can see which actions have happened per user in each individual environment. Now I'd like to show a demonstration in the Profile Unity Central Management Console of these two new features. I'm logged in as an administrator. That's where role-based access shows up under the administration tab, so I have rights to do this and also to change the parameters around these features. If you'll notice, there's two areas here that we'll take a look at today, users and roles, and then we'll talk about our auditing that's built in. So let's click on users and roles. First, you'll see in here that I have an administrator. I have the user that I'm logged in as, and he's also an administrator. And then you have a user that's been set up in the environment, demo user one in this case. And we added them, and we were able to actually find this user in Active Directory, and they also had administration privileges for this Windows network. Once you add a user in this form, by simply clicking on this, filling out the user, you can link to Active Directory if you wish. You can designate the password for the individual, or you can use the password from Active Directory. Once they're in there, you then add a role. And in this case, I've already added a role. I did that by clicking on the Add a Role tab, and I put in Demo User 1, and I also cited that they would be a Flex App Administrator, and we have that here. Let's go in and see how this user is set up. If we click on Permissions, what we have here is we have a list of all the features in Profile Unity that you may want to grant access to as a user of Profile Unity. In this case, the user has the rights to be a Flex App Administrator and not much else in the environment. Maybe they can also update virtual disks in the environment. If you want to grant them any other permissions, you do so here by clicking any of the corresponding boxes. They could also have rights to update Flex Disk, and Flex Disk is the VMDK portion of Flex App. So, and they can also update filters in that regard, and you could also give them the ability to update a portability rule set, which is our hived profile. Give them the permission to update the configuration overall so, um, so their changes can take effect in the environment. And once you save that, that user only has the rights to open up the specific configuration. In this case, let's take a look at the configurations they have rights to only the FlexApp configuration, they can open up that configuration 
and they have the rights to make changes only under the areas that they have permissions to do so. If you look here, this user's already done some things in FlexApp DIA, Department Installed Applications, where they have the rights to come in here and add and remove applications that have been packaged. Now there's many other use cases that you could put into play for this role-based access. Another one could be printers. You could designate someone to have rights only over printer management for a large organization, and effectively that would take place there. In this case, I have separated out configurations that only have to do with printers and only have to do with flex apps for corresponding roles, but you could limit it for a configuration that already exists and only grant them feature level access to those features that you want them to have access to. So that was a quick look at our role-based access in Profile Unity. What I want to show you now is the auditing that has been introduced in this latest version. So if I look at the auditing trail here, we're reporting back to a storage area on the network so we can pull the data back where it writes to. And what's happening is it's an ongoing list of every change that's been made in Profile Unity. Those concerning Flex apps as well or anything in that environment. As you'll see, the timestamp is involved here and that someone made a change to the environment. And that was actually this demonstration of a role permission. So that was logged even today. If you take a look at that, you'll see that exactly the changes that I made while I was clicking around here. But to get more specific than that, you can see where a user has gone in and actually made a change with printers today. Let's look at the first one that was made. So in this case, I'll open it up and a printer was added. I can tell and the, the printer was added here as a uh, XPS document writer. It's green, so the printer, so this was a configuration that added into the environment. You'll note that just a few seconds later, or a few minutes later, the printer configuration was again changed. In this case, it's red. It was taken out of the environment. So you can see changes that take place and all kinds of additional detail that we won't go into today that reflect exactly the same type of data that's in each configuration module. Now you can download any of these changes at any time I'd like to point out. See that? I download it as a CSV and you can save those and have a running action of, of those. You can also export the entire thing to a file. So that was a quick look at two enterprise features in Profile Unity and FlexApp that have been added to one of the latest versions. To take advantage of these features, visit our download page and download them for trial or to update your own management console. Or you can also access an update of your existing management console from the About tab in Profile Unity. For more information, visit liquidware.com or email sales at liquidware.com.